I need to tell you the story of what happened in Hollywood. So they're they're doing their own thing, right? And it's hot. So I'm like, I'm gonna be nice, go look in the car and see if there's an umbrella for them, right? So I go to the car and I get the key and I put it in, I'm like, what the fuck? And the key's broken. So earlier in the day when we forgot that they told us they brought posters so the Twilight people could sign it, autograph them. So they said, no, we're gonna give you something so they could autograph. So those posters, like, I say you just put them away or something like that. I was like, I'll put them away from you guys. So I went to the car, opened the car, and put away the posters and left. Not noticing that when I opened the door that first time, the key broke inside the door. So we're stuck without a key in Hollywood. So I'm like, shit, you know, like trying to see what I could do. I'm calling people, and I end up calling, calling my buddy Martin, Sonia's sister's boyfriend, or fiance. And um, we're there working for a while, trying to get the key out, so we go, fuck it, let's call the locksmith. <laughs> so we call the locksmith. We go up to him, he goes, 80 bucks. So we're like, oh. fuck. So we're all like, cause he goes, cause I'm gonna have to be traveling back and forth trying to make a key. So we're like, how about you just come there, take the key out, and go back, make the key, and we'll go back and forth testing it. And he goes, all right then. So he's like, 50 bucks. So we're like, okay, cool. <laughs> so he goes to the place, he tries, he tries to take out the key, but he can't. So he goes, I'm just gonna make a key here by hand. So he gets a, like, a, a key, and he starts grinding and scratching and like trying it, grinding and scratching for like at least two hours, just trying, and finally he gets it. And so he didn't do what he was gonna do. He just made a fake key. So my buddy Martin's like, how much? And he's an Asian guy, like really bad accent. He goes, for spare key, $4. And so we're thinking like, oh cool. So we just saved so much money. So my friend Martin, he's trying to be nice. He goes, okay, for your hard work, you said it's $4, I'm gonna give you 10. So he gives him $10, he goes, what? $10, and he takes the key, throws the money, jumps in his car, and he leaves. Cause he thinks we're trying to rip him off and me and him are like, what the fuck? But I'm, tr I'm standing in front of his car like, no dude, just chill. My friend Martin's like, I'll pay you everything you want then. I'll pay you everything you want cause we need this key to get home. So, um, so he goes, no, no. And there happened to be a security guard there. The security guard calls for backup and the guy, I'm just like, fuck it. Martin's like, yeah, just fuck it. So the guy takes off. The security guard like, what happened? He questioned us, we tell him. So they take us into um, the manager. And they're like, yeah, you could use my computer or use my phone to try to call another locksmith. So my friend Martin Googles locksmith and he calls the first number he sees and it happens to be that same dude. And my friend Martin's like, yeah, I need a key up here in Hollywood and Highland. I need you to make a key for me. And he goes, it's me. And he hangs up the phone. <laughs> and my friend Martin's like, what the fuck? So he calls back and he goes, dude, why'd you leave? He goes, you try to rip me off. And he hangs up again. And so my Martin he calls back, he goes, I'll give you whatever you want. Just give me that fucking key. I'll pay you what you want. He goes, $50. So we go back to the locksmith where he's at. We go, here's your $50. And my friend Martin being nice, he gives him an extra 10. He goes, here, $60 for your time. And he goes, oh, thank you, my friend. So where do you live? Hi, they try to be all nice now that he got an extra $10 out of it. So that was a fucking, it was a rat chase. Hold up.